Hey guys, it's Minecraft Tutorials here, and today we will be I I will be showing you how to make the house from the Amazing World Gumball. So, um, it's kind of simple, but some parts will be hard. And I'm also gonna do a seed showcase. So the seed for this world is email. So cat. Um, it's all lowercase, so it's e dat it's e hyphen mail. Like I said, it's all lowercase, and then there was a big forest in this whole entire area, but I burnt down the forest and I cleared out a lot of land because this is going to be where I am going to do a lot of tutorials on how to build a city. So for the first episode um, in the series of how to build a city is Gumball's house. So the materials you will need it are um, block of quartz, port stairs, brass block, oak wood stairs, black stained glass, white stained glass, Light blue wool, blue wool, and birch fence. We might need some more materials later, but it's just what we need for now. So, what we want to do for this tutorial is go so wherever you want to build. Um, just so you know, this will be the front of the house. And you want to make it about eight blocks away from your road. Because those eight bro blocks will be your uh, sidewalk. <clears throat> so, you want to take out your block of quartz and go one, two, three, four, five blocks to your right. Leave a two block spacing and then go one, two, three, four, five blocks again. And then now, you want to go 15 blocks that way. This will be the side of your house. So 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then here, you just want to take another five blocks and then another five blocks. And then just match it up with this. So that's what you should have for your base. Then now you want to bring all of that up three blocks. I also wanted to point out the YouTuber ADHD Craft. He gave me a lot of ideas um, from his um, Amazing World Gumball video on how to build Gumball's house as well. He gave me some ideas of how to make a video um, at, on how I could make a video for, from his video. So now. Um, that's what you should have for your base. And usually people make the houses way too big in this. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on people uh, showing uh, their amazing little gumball houses. I know they do look bad. That's only because they make it really big and everything is just so big it doesn't make sense to me so this house is kind of medium size it's going to be big enough to fit like the interior of the house inside which will be a separate video from this it will be the next video but also um big enough to add an upstairs without the house being too tall. So right now you just want to add 
two blocks of white, blue, well, two rows of, uh, blue wool, and then two blocks there, and then you want to add your staircase with the quartz blocks underneath. So now what you want to do is take out your light blue wool, and then take it all the way across. Now we will be cutting some holes in, in the light blue wool, but that will be later. Now take your white stained glass and go one white stained glass, two black stained glass, and then one white stained glass. And then you also want to take your door and, and make three blocks there for the door. And then take this window three blocks high. Now for the door, so place quartz there, and bring it all the way up to the height of the window, and then add the two blocks there, and then there should be an iron door right here. The Minecraft doors are really small, and so I got this idea from ADHD Craft to make a fake door with a little door inside it. So now that's the front of the house, the front porch finished. And just you want to bring this light blue wool up one more. And now uh, I'm going to show you the uh, how to make the little awning on it. So go three stairs like that so, to, until it's all the way up to this corner. And then bring it all the way along like that and then match it up with this corner. And then you just want to do that all the way until um, you just want to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't really know how to explain it. And then now, we don't really need the grass blocks, so now you want to get uh, a wood slab and put it on the top of the block. So now you should have something that looks like this. And now take your block of quartz and put it under this just like that because that's how it actually is in the show. There's like white beams on the bottom of it holding it up. So now you want to break actually never mind. Don't break anything. Place your oak wood stairs just like that. And you want to take this across and do the same exact thing. And every time you go up, you want to have it one block shorter on the edges. And this will be the roof of the house. So, should look something like that. Okay. So now, you will be... Actually, take this up one more with the Oakwood Slab. Okay, that looks better. And now, take your birch fence. And just put it on all the, on the top of all the, uh, quartz blocks with a space for the walkway right here. And then on the corner right here, you want to bring it all the way up to the corner of the awning. And do that right by the stairs too, and do the same exact thing on the other side.
So it should look like that. And now what you want to do is take your oak wood stairs and bring it all the way up to the top of the house and then bring it all the way down on the other side. So now we will punch in the window. So I'm thinking the window should be right there. Yeah, I think the window should be right there. Looks better like that. Okay. So now we will be working on the sides of the house. Both sides seem the same, but they're actually different. On this side, there's only one window. On that side, there's two. I know that because uh, I've looked really hard in the episodes, and you can see it really clearly that there's two windows on that side by Mr. Robinson's house it, um, in the episode The Debt. That's episode two of season one. Um, when Gumball is all Gumball is always in Mr. Robinson's yard in that episode, and then so you can always see the two windows right there. So there's like one window right here, and then one in the same place as that window. So what you want to do for the first layer, just bring it all the way back, and for the second layer, you want to take it all the way out like that, and then stop when there's four blocks opening there, and place two blocks at the end, and then for the third layer, do the same exact thing as you did on the second layer, and for the fourth layer, you do the same exact thing as you did on the first layer, and just bring it up one more block. So you should have something that looks just like that. Oh, and you also want to break off the edges of these stairs because those are actually going to be uh, port stairs for the edges. So now for this side. It's not exactly the same exact thing as the other side. So I don't really know how to explain it. Just do what I do. So two blocks, two blocks there, and then two blocks there, and bring it all the way back there. And then bring it there with the two blocks facing there, and then two blocks there, and then the two blocks facing there. I just want to do that again. Bring it up the two blocks. Okay, so it should look like something like that. Now what you want to do is take your black stained glass and then just spill it in on all the windows. Okay, so now for the back of the house. You want to take your light blue wool, just bring it all the way there, like that, leaving a space for the door. And then for this side, you want to take your, you want to have a three block space there, and on each side, the windows are different lengths. So for this side, Right there, you want to have the 3 by 2 spacing there, and then for this, you just want to have the 2 by 2 spacing. Then bring it all the way up and bring down these two blocks, and then now for the stairs. So for the stairs, you want to have a block of ports there. Bring down the, the court stairs and place your block of quartz right there because these court stairs, well, I don't know how to explain it. You just want to place two stairs like that and then place two upside down stairs like that. I can't get out of here. And then do that and then do the same exact thing 
as you did on the top side. It's kind of hard to explain. Okay, because these stairs are wooden and they don't really have um complete a complete base for them like this like these stairs. So just place upside down stairs like that. Let me give you a second to look at it. So yeah, that's what you should have. And now for the windows. For this window, you want to do the same exact thing as that window. So place there, there. So white stained glass there, black stained glass there, and then white stained glass right there. And for this one, you want to have black stained glass on that side, and then white stained glass on that side. So now it would be helpful if you would if you just bring up all of the blue stained. I keep saying blue stained, uh, all of the light blue wool up one more block, and then for this back side, um, I don't know how to explain it. There's like a porch right here on the back side. It's kind of hard to build. I think we should make this first. So, with the light blue wool, like we did on the other side, just on every, as you go up on the edges, just go one block in to make a triangular roof. And then now for the awning. So, hmm. So one block there, two, I mean two blocks, and then bring it all the way there, two blocks there, so it should be like that. And then now I'm going to bring this up so it looks like that. And then now for the fence, you want to take your birch fence, and on the middle block of the stairs, right there, you want to bring it all the way up until it meets the awning. So it looks just a little bit like that. Um. Now for the door. You just want to take your block of quartz and just go like an upside down L shape. And there's like an air vent right here. I don't really know what it is though. Like a tiny air vent. But I'm just gonna put a window there because it'll look weird if like you have blue wool there. It just looks really weird. Or like if the air vent is like dark blue wool, right? If you wanted to represent it with light blue wool, the back side it looks really plain. Actually, it kind of looks better like that. Yeah. So there's ex so there's no window there. It's just an air vent. I don't know what it is though. It looks just like an air vent, so I'm just gonna call it an air vent. Now for the roof, I just want to place stairs like this. So you should have a slope in the roof. I just, I actually realized in some videos that a lot of people forget to put the chimneys, the chimney in it. Uh, the TV in the living room is actually hiding the chimney. Um, so, but you can actually see it when, when, uh, when they begin the episode, and the episode is like in the house, where it shows the house, and then uh, Gumball and Darwin are doing something or something like that, uh, you can see the chimney. It's like a little black stone chimney right there.
but lots of people forget to put it. I even forgot to put it once, and the house still looks good, but it was just missing a little something. And then for the edges of the roof, we want to place court stairs like this. Oh man, I really hate stairs. Sometimes they just don't need to work with you. Okay, so you have the outside of your house finished. Now you will want to add the sidewalk. So for the sidewalk, you want to take your stone slab, and there's also a mailbox, a little mailbox with a face on it. So for that, we're just going to take birch fence and then take some clay, and then a sign. So for the stone slabs, you just want to break one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then make it two blocks wide, and then just fill it all in with stone slabs. And now for the birch fence, or the mailbox, you want to do, you want to place one like that, just one block diagonal from the stairs on the left hand side, and place a clay block on top of it, and then a sign. So, for this, uh, let's place, wait, make sure you're on the top. So, do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that, that's the eyes, then for the mouth, you want to go diagonal like that, and then we go, uh, do nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then just do that. Okay, that's your mailbox. Actually, it looks pretty decent. Get on my yard, cow. Go away, you stupid cow. Thank you. Yes, run into the ocean. Run into the ocean. Come on, come on, come on. Ow, oh, I killed it. Uh, so that's what you want to have for the front yard. And then there is a sidewalk leading over there that goes over to the side of the house between um, the mailman's house. If you ever noticed in the episode The Allergy where Darwin sneezes right through the wall here and then it goes through the neighbor's wall right here, you can see the mailman, he's just sitting there drinking coffee and he's like, what the what happened? So that's why I know the mailman lives there. And yeah, so now for uh, the doors, you want to take your iron door and then take a button. And then for this, you want to get your um, cyan wool and place one cyan wool there an iron door there with a button there and then there's a little doorbell that's right there i don't know i don't exactly know what it is i'm pretty sure it's a doorbell so this the button then go to the other side do the same thing but without the doorbell then you have the button right there which window has to be that side 
So that's what you have for the back of your uh, for the back of your house. This the uh, right hand side you have that. For the front side you have this, and then for the left hand side you have that. So that's um. I also we also need to make this the uh, backyard fence. So you want to go onto your left hand side, so two blocks on the edge, and then you place one, two, three spruce planks like that, and then come back about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then once you go back all the way there, and do the same exact thing on this side. So one, two, three, and then go all the way back until you reach there, and then bring it up two blocks. And now we, uh, we're going to make it three, but don't do it on the back side. For the back side, you want to take a uh, spruce fence and then just do that for the back side and then do spruce planks on the right hand side. And now you want to take spruce wood slab and then go three like that and then go back one. And then go to the right one. Oh man, it's raining. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Do the same exact thing on the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is Gumball's house. I hope you like this video. Um, for the next video, I will I will be showing you how to uh, do the inside of the house, the inside, and some details to the backyard. I need those flowers. This grass. So uh, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it, and tell me in the tell me in the comments below what you want me to do for my next tutorial. And uh, I hope this tutorial is helpful. The next one will surely be helpful because a lot of people mess up the insides of Gumball's house. So. Bye.